My name is Danny, and I go by Gator. Uh, I'm the owner and uh, president of Firebase Gym and Firebase Combat Studies Group. I have a 22 years of professionally carrying a firearm. When you're in that compressed ready, in that ready position, get your fingers off the trigger, guys. I did about four years in the Marine Corps. Upon leaving the Marine Corps, I went into law enforcement here locally in Central Florida. Most of my time was spent on the Orange County Sheriff's Office SWAT team, along with the narcotics and gang unit. Those were the primary specialty units I was involved in. All right, guys, we just want to go over the Serp Pro pistol here. This weapon system here uh, projects a laser, and what the tendency is that people want to look at the laser. So you're going to want to get sucked into actually looking at that dot, focus on that front sight, okay, every time. One of the great things about the Serp Pro pistol is that we can actually practice weapons postures, uh, things that we're not allowed to do typically at most ranges. The high gun and low gun postures that are, for the most part, not allowed. So one of the drills that I like to run and when you go to validate your trigger control is uh, I, what I call a, a load one, shoot two. So what you'll do is you go ahead and insert a magazine with uh, live ammunition, go ahead and chamber one round, pull that magazine out, okay? Lay it on the deck or lay it on your bench there and go ahead and fire one. So that'll be your live fire shot and then follow up with a dry fire. So if you've got any flinch, okay, or any anticipation, in your game, you're gonna notice it there. Okay, so take the time, all you can do, you know, pretty much set up a magazine about 15 rounds and run that about 15 times. All right, that'll help work out any glitches in your trigger control or anticipation. Okay, so you'll load one, you'll shoot two, okay? Three to five rounds, stand by. These weapons do not recoil. There is no recoil stimulus on this gun. So you have to get uh, into a proper stance Make sure you're dominating over the gun, okay, as you would be with a real live fire gun. Well, one thing I found, whether it's the Marine Corps, the military, law enforcement, it's a shooting package that's uh, given to you maybe once a year. If you're on a specialty unit, you may get twice that, maybe two times a year, you'll get a shooting package, but for the most part, in between, it's up to you. It's up to that individual to, to sustain their skills. Fire. So we're looking for a thumbs forward grip, okay? With our master hand, we wanna ensure that our, so that web of the hand is high up into the tang of the pistol. We also wanna make sure that that middle finger is high up into the, uh, right under the trigger guard area, okay? We also wanna create that open area here on the left side of the pistol for our support hand to fit in. Uh, I like to refer to this little area here, forward of the trigger guard, uh, as an index point for your support hand thumb. Okay, so go ahead and make sure that every time you draw, and your hands come together on the weapon system, your support hand thumb indexes that point so we don't get sloppy with that position, okay? People have a tendency, and this is what I noticed in the training, is as we get fatigued, we kind of mess up that hand position, okay? Therefore, we're not being consistent with our training. Therefore, we're gonna build some improper movement patterns and training scars. So we wanna make sure that that support hand thumb, okay, is locked into position, and we've got two hands, high elbows, chest, uh, chest squeeze, dominating over the gun, okay? That's gonna be the grip we're looking for. And then the drill basically is gonna run from either compressed ready or an extended ready position. It'll be standby, ready, fire. And I want five shots, same spot for all five shots, okay? And we're just gonna work that trigger, okay, for that five shots. We'll do this about three to four times. We're looking for solid dots on the trigger, not slashes. So for good trigger control, what we wanna see with that Sir Pro pistol is dots, solid dots on that target, okay? We want to avoid slashes, okay? That means we're either pulling with the finger, so we want to be aware of that, and also, if we've got too little finger on the trigger, we're going to push left. So we want linear pull on this trigger, coming straight back into the trigger, finishing flat on that trigger every time we break our shots, okay? For the most part, you know, we, we want to emphasize working on skills, you know, on the range. It's not meant to take the place of live fire. This is meant to sustain in between your live fire range training sessions. Stand by. Ready, fire. Good, Dave. One thing you might want to think about is just kind of rolling those elbows out. Okay. Both elbows out. There you go. So and give me e equal tension, okay? So if you got one, arm, one elbow here, just kind of lower than the other, that's where the recoil is going to want to go. 
is to that support elbow because that's the one that's slowest, okay? So you want that recoil to travel up your arms, through your shoulders, okay, straight back. Okay. All right, so just to show you, all right, go ahead and come on out, lock out again. So if you drop that elbow, that recoil is going to want to travel here, okay, to this side right here. All right, so get your elbows up, roll them up nice and tight. Good. Equal tension on both arms, all right? So everything's nice and equal, all right? Stand by. Ready, fire. So we want to dominate and get, again, over the gun, equal tension with both elbows, whether you lock straight out or you bend slightly, but equal tension to that recoil comes straight back, okay? Basically what we want to do is lock this gun into what we call a vice here, okay? Equal tension with the hands, all right, equal tension with the elbows, nice chest squeeze going on. I've got good compression here and I'm meeting that recoil aggressively, okay? And one thing I know for a fact is if you're not training this, if you're not constantly practicing skills and manipulation of a firearm, that kind of thing, those are things that deteriorate. So guys, when you're in that compressed ready, in that ready position, get your fingers off the trigger, guys. Straight it off. Uh, I want a straight index finger along the slide of the uh, firearm. So whether you go to the range once a month Fire. and validate your marksmanship skills, or you, you're one of the officers that maybe gets a, a once a year shooting package, uh, or even a qualification course, this is something you can do consistently to maintain your skills, sustain and, and hone uh, all of your marksmanship.